business owners, entrepreneurs, and even my ministry leaders. I've got a quick question for you. Have you ever struggled with growing your business after you've started it? Well, on today's episode of Bootstrapping Business and Ministry, I'm gonna give you five things that you really need to know to help you grow your business. What's going on everybody? Glenn P. Brooks Jr. here, super excited to be back with you for another edition of Bootstrapping Business and Ministry. Now I think it's awfully fitting today on the 40th episode, meaning we've been recording these uh, episodes, just tips and strategies on how you can bootstrap your way to success, whether you're a business owner, whether you're an entrepreneur, or even a ministry leader for the last 40 weeks or 40 episodes in a row. And one of the things that I discovered long time ago, this is, and it's even funny that I'm saying long time, we've only been in business five years, but one of the things that I discovered earlier on is what it took for me to start my business was very different than what it took for me to grow it. Uh, when I first started out in this space, I had already written three books, we had already been coaching some people, and we had even already begun doing speaking engagements, but I really didn't have a business around it. And so I'm gonna give you five things that I did, and it helped us grow to the place that we were profitable within the first 18 months, and we broke the six-figure mark last year, and we're continuing to grow exponentially quarter after quarter after quarter. And so when we talk about those five things, what are we really talking about? I honestly believe that until you, number one, master your story, right? Master your story, you cannot grow your business. Let me tell you why. Because oftentimes, and I know, again, coming out of the ministry development space, working with people, particularly in youth ministry, parents, and that sort of stuff, I understood that there was a very unique thing that I did that caused people to gravitate towards me, and it was my story. I believe that your story is unique to you. Your uh, core values are unique to you. There is a life experience that you've gone through that is unique to you. It doesn't mean that other people haven't gone through something similar, but what makes it unique is the fact that it's you. And so one of the things that I wanna encourage you to do is spend time mastering your story, mastering the reason why you do what you do. For me, my story has everything to do with growing out of a failed divorce. That's part of my story. Well, I've mastered the ability to connect to people in that space. One Another unique life experience for me is um, having to now blend a family as a result of that divorce. Again, my ability to master that story and connect to people who are struggling with blending their family. Even when it comes to business, I struggled in the very beginning of getting a ridiculous amount of clarity so that I could keep things moving forward. And one of the things that I've done is I've mastered the ability to tell that story so that people who, like me, are foggy, they're not clear on what they should be doing, they certainly don't know uh, who they are, what they do, why they do it, or who they do it for, I help people get laser focused and super clear. I've mastered that story. So when it comes time for me to show up, whether that is doing business with people, it could be just on a social media uh, a platform, maybe it's a lunch and learn that we do, or maybe it's a random live, I have gotten to the place where I've mastered my story so much that it caused people who can connect to that story to gravitate towards me. So number one, if you're gonna scale your business, you really need to be able to master your story. And even this, I, I, I'm thinking about my ministry leaders. No, it may not be a for-profit business, but in the ministry world, uh, it's a non-profit business. Mastering the message of that particular church or the message that God's put in your heart. Other, either way you slice it, if you can master that story, I guarantee you that's where exponential growth begins to happen. Number two, and I wanna go into this, I want you guys to understand the power of showing up consistently. Put that in the chat somewhere. When you grow or when you want to grow, you have to be consistent. Here's one of the biggest things that I've learned. Uh, people have to learn to know, like, and trust you. In order to do business with you, in order to go to your church, you have to be consistent. If you show up and you're feeding the homeless one week, but you're not feeding the homeless every week, then the inconsistency is, is gonna cause people not to wanna connect with you. However, if you are there every single week of the month, every single week of the year, year after year after year, here's what you will find. 
you'll find that people will come alongside of you and they'll say, hey, what can I do to help? I notice that you're always here. I can't tell you how many people have uh, reached out to me and, and have done business with me. By the way, if you want to uh, coach with me, look at the descriptions uh, in the link. Uh, look at the links in the description below. I'm sorry. Uh, but I want you guys to understand this. I've worked with more people who have found me just because I consistently show up. I can't tell you, I'm thinking about one guy who had been watching me for five years, since the very beginning of our start on social media and socially trying to really connect with people and build his business. He sat and he watched, and he watched, and he watched. And I would consistently show up. At that time, I was doing uh, Tuesday, uh, Tell Me Something Good Tuesdays. They were lunch and learns that I would do on Facebook. I started out on Periscope, and then I moved to Facebook Lives, and then we moved to uh, YouTube Lives and things like that. But my message stayed consistent, and I was always there. So by the time I am launching what was our seventh cohort at the time of our MAPS Masterclass Intensive, he decided he wanted to sign up. And you know what the biggest thing that he said? He said, brother, I've watched you grow over the years and I realized that the information, the things that you're sharing, if they can work for you, then they can work for me. But I had to watch you show up consistently long enough in order to be able to do that. Now I said we're gonna give you guys five uh, different things and we're gonna come back in a second part and unpack the other three. I do wanna encourage you that if there's anything that you need and any place, maybe you need to just jump on a quick call with me and kind of talk some things through. Maybe you got an idea and you wanna help stretch that out. Do me a favor, just put, uh, drop a, a link either in the comment or you can click on uh, one of the links in the description below and sign up for a free discovery session so that we can talk because here's what I will promise you guys, you cannot get to any place of significance by yourself and the reason why is because we all need some help. We'll be back with part two next week. I hope you'll join us. If this content has helped you on any level, I wanna encourage you to click one of the videos around this screen at the moment or click the links below to see how you can find out uh, how you can get in touch with us here at the MAPS Masterclass. Our goal is to take entrepreneurs, business owners, and ministry leaders to the next level by showing them up, showing up and teaching them how they can get a ridiculous clarity on what it is that they want to do. At the end of the day, here's what I know to be true. We all need some help.